What's up, everybody? Welcome to Nonsense Town, also known as Clown World News. We got some nonsense. Direct import, straight from Nonsense City. We got USC professor's dismissal over Chinese word that sounds like racial slur. Question by alum. Beers. So you, you can't you can't even say a word that sounds like a racial slur. It, it you can't like you can't avoid offending people because you might you might they might it might sound like you're offending them. And that's just as bad. You'll lose your job. But honestly, if you're trying to work as a professor at a California college, maybe that job isn't for you. If you're a well-educated person trying to work as a professor in a California state college, university, uh, to quote Rick, yeah, it's not a place for smart people. So yeah, the situation occurred August 20th when Marshall School of Business professor Greg Patton, what a racist, was delivering a lecture to his communication for management class, providing them with tips on how to present information effectively. Patton said, <laughs> it's kind of ironic too, providing them with tips on how to prevent or present information effectively. Guess he wasn't effective enough. Patton cited Apple founder Steve Jobs' use of filler words while presenting and then went on to list examples of breaks in other languages. If you have a lot of ums and ers, this is culturally specific, so based on your native language. Patton said, according to a recording of the lecture, well shit, let's just watch the recording. If you have a lot of um or ers, and this is culturally specific, so based on your native language, like in China, the, the common word is that, 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 that. So in China, it might be nega, 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 nega. So there's different words that you'll hear in different countries, but they're vocal disfluencies. It's How dare he? What an animal. Where is that his wizard cloak in the back? Where's his KKK flag? Do they have a flag? I, I don't know. But <laughs> in an email said August 21st, the USC administrators and obtained by National Review a group of patent students identifying themselves as black MBA candidates CO2200 whatever the fuck that means wrote that the professor pronounced the word like the n-word approximately five times offending all of the black members of our class shame on all of you shame on all of you if you really were offended by that you're a fucking retard you're moronic. Maybe he should have said it slower so that you could understand. But I don't know. Maybe you guys don't understand that there's other languages in the world in a crazy scheme <laughs> to stop the Tower of Babel from happening. Maybe God made a bunch of different languages. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why there's all these different languages. It just might, you know, they organically form. Or maybe there's root races. I don't know why it happened. The students wrote... They spoke with Chinese classmates who were appalled by what they had heard and confirmed that the pronunciation of the word is much different than what Professor Patton described in class. So imagine a big, a big group of people surround you. They're all super liberal and woke and they're, they're mad, they're angry, and you're a Chinese student and they're like, Hey, man, you hear what he said? Oh, yeah, it's, it's totally crazy. Shouldn't have said that. I don't know. Also, it's kind of like they... They wrote that they spoke with the Chinese classmates, with, with Chinese classmates. Unnamed sources. Who are your sources? I want names. Because, uh, let's continue just for a sec. By the following week, Pat had taken a pause from teaching the course with Marshall Dean Jeffrey Garrett announcing the change in an email to students. It is simply unacceptable for faculty to use words in class that can marginalize, hurt, and harm the psychological safety of our students. How is this guy in charge of anything? What do you fucking mean? Do you not know what your professors are teaching? Do you understand that they're... We can't let people harm the psychological safety of our students. Well, how vague of you. How... But many people have since come to the professor's defense over the alleged incident. Why is this even a thing? Why, California, you are constantly just causing bullshit to happen, and then people got to come in and be like, hey, that, that was bullshit. Like, nuh-uh, you're bullshit. No, you're, and then now everyone's covered in shit. 
And you make all of America look stupid because people are like, oh, California did some dumb shit. All of America must be like California. It's not true. Not true. The alumni wrote they were deeply disappointed that the spurious charge has the additional feature of casting insult toward the Chinese language, the most spoken in the world, and characterized it in its usage as vile. Now they're flipping it on them. Now you guys are racist because you guys are saying that Chinese is racist. You guys don't even speak Chinese. Alright, so... So they talked to unnamed Chinese classmates, unnamed, unnamed sources, but we got a named guy, Tai Su Zhang, Zhang, a professor at Yale Law School, tweeted Friday that he had spoken to his USC colleagues who confirmed Patton's temporary leave. All I can say is, and I'm sure he doesn't sound like this, but maybe he does, I'm not racist, but he does, he's probably Chinese. All I can say is the professor's pronunciation of the Chinese phrase Nega was accurate, and his use of it as an example of filler language was linguistically appropriate. Zhang wrote, it's a very common phrase. Damn, they, they, these articles just go on and on and on and on. There's just so much bullshit in that. But let's, let's just look. The filler word nega can be pronounced both naga and nega. But for this usage, nega is normally used. Confusing Chinese word, nigga, nigga. Students of Chinese is with opinion, na, and g. Depending on how you pronounce these two characters, it may not seem very close to the n-word, but this isn't the only pronunciation of the word. Nay, g, is another very common pronunciation. Depending on the accent and the speed that this word is said, it can be edging on being indistinguishable from the n-word. Now, which by the way, I'm gonna just throw this out there. Saying nigga is not saying the n-word. There is a very, there's a reason why the n-word with the hard r, why that one doesn't show up in media, rap songs, comedy bits. It doesn't, it's cause it's crazy offensive. That one is. But the, the, the amount that which the nigga, the, the common, it means peer, and it's used in that way. The language evolves over time. Saying the hard R is definitely offensive. Literally, the only song I can think of recently that used it was like Bandit by Juice World and whoever, whoever else was in that. But yeah, he says hard R in there and he does the rap. Maybe that's why they, they took him out. I don't know. Talk about celebrity deaths all day if we want, but this isn't about that. And this also isn't about the N word meaning peer and how whether or not white people and other people should be allowed to say it and use it, whether it's offensive at all. I feel like if you, if people if in the black community really thought it was that offensive, they would stop using it altogether. But it's used so common, it's used so often. And I think when you look at like if a Chinese person says it, it's hilarious. Everybody thinks that's funny. But then a white kid say, says it, I think that's hilarious too. Sometimes I think it's appropriately used. It's a, it's a word where I've, over the years, decided like I just don't want to say it anymore. But in publicly, at the very least, I'll say it with my friends that I grew up with because it's just like, that's just the way we talked. We, we saw that's the way other people were talking. I've, I've lived in the hood of Akron for several years. That's just how people talked, it's how we communicated. It's, it's whatever. But again, that's besides the point. The point is California, what the fuck? <laughs> California, what the fuck? Also, I feel like students at a lot of these colleges in California, they don't care about learning. They just want to get their, they're just like that girl, that 11 year old who wrote that speech. She said she wanted to be famous, but really she just wants to be alive. Like, no, that's, that's every, all these people at these, all these students at these colleges. Colleges are weird, radical indoctrination mills. They don't want to learn. They just didn't want to do homework. They're like, hey, man, you know what it sounded like he said? Forget nuance. Forget actually having to dig deep and figuring out what he meant and not even what he meant, what he actually said. Because this isn't even one of those cases where it's like, what did he mean to say? No, this is exactly what he said. It's what he meant. And it's not racist. In fact, you're kind of racist for thinking that's racist. 
there's lots of different angles to look at. It. So anyways, yeah, shout out to my patron for sending this to me. I thought this was hilarious, but also par for the course. This is like, we know this stuff happens. You, eventually, language will get to the point where you can't say anything. Everybody will be so offended. They'll just be looking at each other doing sign language, but everything will be a, then all that will be like the middle finger. You won't be able to say shit. Is that what we want? Is that the goal? Is that what you want to be when Jesus comes back? Not being able to talk because you're going to offend him? Uh, whatever. Alright, so that wraps us up. Yeah, if you enjoy uh, good, uh, independent journalism and all that, body, 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 check the description out. You do your thing. But what you should do is call your mom, be a good person, stay vigilant, take everything you hear with a grain of salt, exercise and eat right and all that other good shit.